up until now, to choose secondary containment was always a compromise in terms of cost of installation and also the reliability concerns that people had with installing the systems. With Gemini, it makes that choice of using secondary containment a no-brainer. The first big step in secondary containment was high-density polyethylene pipe that can be electrofusion welded together with a series of fittings and be pressure tight. It is lighter, easier to install, no glued joints. It just makes the whole installation easier on everyone. So our piping system uses a liner called EVOH, and this product allows us to meet permeation barrier requirements for fuel handling. The T1 rating is really a testament to the strength of our pipe, and it really can be installed in all regions of the world. With electrofusion welding, the, the beauty of it is, is it's so clean and simple. You eliminate any risk of error in an installation, and you automate that part of the process. Inside each fitting, there's a heating coil, which are then connected to two lead pins, which are connected to the welder. All the installer does is depresses one button, and this welder will heat those coils inside the fitting to a temperature where it will allow the fitting to bond to the pipe. When you fuse two fittings or pipes together, they literally become one. Prior to Gemini, the secondary system was hard to install, and although it was completely independent of the primary, you had to build it together in parallel. So it wasn't until you'd completed both the primary and the secondary that you could then test for leaks. Now I think with Gemini, we've introduced that third leap in innovation within the petroleum industry. The unique thing about Gemini is that the system relies on the fitting being split into two pieces. And therefore, this primary component can be fully welded fully pressurized, tested and inspected before the secondary system is closed and welded. Three Gemini fittings replace quite a few primary and secondary parts. The Gemini solution includes a T, a 45 degree elbow and a 90 degree elbow. The 45 degree elbow allows you to install it for a 45 degree bend and also if you have an inline connection it allows you to turn those fittings over to make it an inline secondary contained fitting. Gemini was designed to solve problems with installation time, being able to access the primary system before welding the secondary system, reduce the number of components, and to provide a confidence that both the installers and the end users have yet to experience with secondary containment. When you install a site and expect it to last for 30 years or more, Gemini and secondary containment just make sense. Gemini secondary containment system is so simple, so easy to use, I can't imagine anyone wanting to use any other system. <laughs>